us more with more here in studio. Good morning, Whitney. Hey, good morning, everyone. The two candidates, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump, they're actually going to be meeting each other for the first time on Tuesday. They've never met in person. This morning, we're taking a closer look at how important these presidential debates have been throughout the course of history. So joining us now is Brooks Simpson. He's a professor at ASU. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Whitney. So let's first talk about the format of these debates. How have they changed since the first televised debate, which was back in 1960? Uh, they've changed in various ways. There used to be a head-to-head -head confrontation between, behind podiums. Uh, that was the form through, uh, let's say, the 1990s. Then there were variations, experiment in terms of town halls and the like, uh, taking questions from audience members. But it seems that this year oh, we're going to have a return to two people, each behind a podium, uh, answering questions from uh, the media. And no live audience uh, in the debate that's going to be happening on Tuesday, something we'd seen over the years. So let's get really into why these debates matter. Do these debates matter and do they really help sway undecided voters? Debates do matter, not necessarily for reasons that uh, bring glory to them, uh, that we look for memorable moments, uh, and both positive and negative, uh, memorable expressions uh, that candidates have that can be repeated later on, and memorable gaps, uh, which we saw earlier this year in the Biden-Trump debate. Uh, so there's a lot at stake here, but it's how you might not do well as opposed to how you might do well that often resonates with many of the viewers. Nielsen ratings show the Clinton Trump debate was the most highly watched in history. There are about 84 million people that tuned into that back in 2016. How do you think this upcoming debate will do in terms of viewership? I think it will do uh, very well in part because a lot of people want to see uh, Vice President Harris for the first time. They really haven't paid much attention to her. Uh, also, Donald Trump always provides an interesting show, positive or negative, and people will be looking to see whether Harris laughs or whether Trump stumbles or becomes personal. Uh, there's a lot to look at here, but if we're looking in terms of substantial discourse on policy options, uh, we may be sorely disappointed. What will the candidates be doing over the course of the next few days to prepare, which I think really it's interesting is that they've never actually met each other uh, in person. They'll do that on Tuesday. Right. What happens is that parties will go into a place of semi seclusion, at least for several hours a day, and they will appoint a surrogate who will portray the other candidate and they'll rehearse situations and rehearse lines that they hope to deliver. Uh, you will see during the debate on Tuesday that uh, there will be some canned responses and challenges uh, that will come from each candidate. Again, as both parties seek to have that memorable phrase locked in the consciousness of the American public. Brooks, thank you so much for joining us. It's certainly something many people, millions of people will be tuned into. So thank you so much. We'll talk to you again soon. Take care.